Hey boys and girls, it's Region 4 Outreach and Communications Coordinator Matt Cameron and I would love to be in the classroom with you right now teaching you about all of the wonderful wildlife species that we have in Tennessee but because of COVID I can't be there. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some of the antlered animals that we have in Tennessee. Let's get in this box. All right, do y'all know what kind of antler this is? This is an antler from an elk, which is the largest wild mammal that we have in the state of Tennessee. This would belong to the bull, which is the male. This would have been growing on his left side. So the last remaining elk in Tennessee was killed in 1865 in O'Brien County, which is way out in West Tennessee. Now, in the 1860s, the American Civil War was taking place and soldiers back then had to probably kill a lot of what they ate because they didn't have big airplanes to come in and drop food and other supplies to them. So they probably killed a lot of the things that they survived on back then. But anyway, leading up to that, elk were exploited in the state. There wasn't very much, if any, protection of wildlife. So elk were over harvested to the point where they were killed out or extirpated from Tennessee. And extirpation means localized extinction. It means they still exist in other areas, but they are gone from one particular geographic area. So elk were gone from 1865 until the year 2000. And that's when TWRA went up into Canada to Elk Island, which is in Alberta, Canada. We got loads of elk and brought them back to Tennessee. We turned them loose and we have about 400 of them living now in what's called the North Cumberland Wildlife Management Area, which is north of where I'm at right here and it is up near uh, Kentucky. So it would be like Anderson County, Campbell County, and Claiborne County. Um, is where we actually have elk now and if you're lucky uh, we give away about 15 permits to hunt elk every year so not very many uh, elk are hunted in Tennessee just because we don't have a great population of them but maybe someday if you're a hunter you can apply for one of those tags and you may get drawn and be one of the lucky people who gets to hunt elk in Tennessee. Let's look at something else with antlers. This one's probably pretty familiar to you. What is this? It is a white-tailed buck deer. And how do we know it's a buck? Because it has antlers. Some folks call these horns, but they are not horns. Horns grow on cattle and buffalo and goats, and horns are never shed. They, that animal keeps its horns for the duration of its life. And antlers, on the other hand, what do they do every year in the springtime? Late winter and spring, they fall off. Just like leaves on a tree, a, leaf, a tree loses um, its leaves if it's deciduous. White-tailed deer, moose, and elk will shed their antlers off and they grow a brand new set every year. I'm gonna show you another white-tailed buck deer. What do you notice that's different about this one? It's got this fuzzy stuff growing all over its antlers, right? Do you know what this is called? It's called velvet. So when a white-tailed buck deer's antlers are in growth, they are covered in velvet. And come about probably October, September, October, going into the fall, the antlers will fully harden and the uh, buck will start rubbing his antlers on a tree to, to get the velvet to come off. So he's marking his territory when he does that. He's saying, this is my area. And he's also strengthening his neck muscles, getting ready to fight. Who do the buck deer fight? They fight each other, okay? Why do they fight? They fight over the girlfriends. Just like when I was in school, if two boys got in a fight, most of the time it was over a girl. So these guys are best friends and they even bed down in the same areas. They hang out together pretty much all the time and they sleep during the daytime and they're active at night, which is nocturnal. And they wake up late in the day and here's kind of how it works. Little Bucky says, hey, Big Bucky, let's go get something to eat. All right, little Bucky, what do you want to eat tonight? Uh, shoot, man, how about some clover tonight? Nah, man, we had clover last night. Buddy, I know where there's a bean field and with some corn growing next to it. You want to go get some bean, beans and corn? Man, I don't know. That farmer hates it when we eat his crops. Man, I don't care. I'm hungry. I want beans and corn. Let's go. All right, man, I'm with you. Let's go. So here they go out into the soybean field. They're munching, eating the crops, tearing them up. They get over in the corn. They knock some of it down. They're munching on some fresh corn. Man, life is good, Big Bucky. Buddy, you're my best friend. You know that? Man, you're my best friend, Little Bucky. Nothing will ever come between us. Okay, so this goes on pretty much all summer until fall rolls around. 
and what kind of nut grows on an oak tree? Do y'all know? Acorns. If you're from around here, you call them acorns, okay? So they get up late one afternoon and they go out into an oak flat and they're eating acorns, okay? So they're munching, chomp, 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 life is good, and they hear something coming through the woods. You guys walk through the woods in the fall before, haven't you? It's pretty loud, all those fresh leaves on the ground. Crunchy, right? They hear something coming. They start listening, looking around, you know how deer will do. Big Buck, you hear that? Yeah, 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 I hear it. You hear it? Yeah, man. They start sniffing the air. You ever seen a deer do that? They got these long noses. They can smell things really well. Man, that smells good. I smell perfume. You smell that? Oh yeah, my goodness, what's happening? And they look across the woods and you know what they see? What's a female deer called? A doe. Not only one doe, but a whole herd of does. You know how girls like to run around together? Like if one goes to the bathroom, a bunch of them get up and they go to the bathroom together. They look up and they see a whole herd of does and they're just going crazy, okay? Little Bucky says, oh my goodness. Look at that one in the middle, the real pretty one. That's my girlfriend. What are you talking about? That's my girlfriend. No, man, we've been going out for two weeks. I just didn't tell you about her. Dude, we've been going out for two weeks. You better back up. No, you better back up. My girlfriend, my girlfriend. They get in this big old fight. Now they're best friends and they're beating each other up over their girlfriends, right? Because in the fall, that's when the rut happens. That's the breeding season for white-tailed deer and they're not friends anymore. So God gave them these antlers to fight with. Now who do you think is gonna win the fight? Should be Big Bucky, right? He's older than little Bucky, his antlers are bigger, he's probably stronger, more mature, and he should beat up little Bucky and run him off. So he runs little Bucky off and little Bucky's over here crying somewhere. Big Bucky, he's proud now, right? Y'all ever see a guy that struts when he walks, puffs his chest up and kind of got a strut going? That's what Big Bucky's doing right now. He's strutting around saying, oh, look at me. I got all these women, right? I'm, I'm the tough guy, so Big Bucky's happy. Little Bucky, he's going somewhere else trying to find him another girlfriend. So, Big Bucky's happy until, let's say, tomorrow night. And he's out there and he's got all these pretty does with him. And he looks up across the field and he sees a bigger buck. We'll call him Great Big Bucky. So Great Big Bucky shows up. And he sees Big Bucky over here with all these girlfriends. What do you think's gonna happen? You think Big Bucky's just gonna let him have his girlfriends? No, he's gonna, he's gonna fight, he has to, okay? So he gets in a fight. And Great Big Bucky beats him up, so he's out here wandering around somewhere looking for other girlfriends. And Big Bucky has them all. That's just how dominance is established in a, in a deer herd. So, God gave them these antlers to fight with, and sometimes when they're fighting, they break them. You, you'll see a buck deer sometimes with points broken off. He might even have a whole antler broken off. If he breaks his antlers while he's fighting, would he be able to fight next year or the year after? No, he wouldn't. So, these are shed after the, the rut and after the winter's over with, they'll shed these antlers off. They grow a brand new set every year. And once again, when they're growing, they're covered in what? They're covered in velvet. So that's what, uh, that's kind of how antlers work. So in Tennessee in the wild, the two antler species that we have are elk and white-tailed deer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Tune in for another one and we'll talk about some of the other fascinating wild animals that we have in the state of Tennessee.